Good morning, Spike. Thanks for joining us today. My first question to you, what do you like about your work? So, cheers for that, Tom. Um, well, I think it's first worth saying, you know, when people think about a career in local government, working for a council like I do, what do they think of when they think of the council? They think of things like bins and, and stuff like that. But the reality is, you know, it, it, it's far from that. Um, I get to work in uh, an area that really fascinates me, you know, supporting people to progress in their employment, you know, develop new skills, um, achieve their aspirations and um, make sure our local community, you know, prospers and, and develops. Um, what I love about my work is actually my ability to be rather creative. Um, in, in my role, I do a lot of policy, big picture thinking about what could the councils do next? What is What does the future look like? How can we improve the offer that we make to residents and how can we support them better? So although I have a local government career, one of the things that I, I love most is my ability to, to take risks, to think outside the box and look at the bigger picture. Of course, the outcome of that is that we improve the services and support available to residents who need it most and you know that being able to impact directly impact people's lives being able to see ideas on a page become programs that residents can access and then they achieve outcomes they achieve you know life improvements um, that job satisfaction really really drives me and you actually get to meet people who have directly benefited from the hard work that you've you've put in and getting from that plan on a page to something that works for an individual is well it, it's it's really quite complex in a way it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of thought so you have to really you have to really dig deep and concentrate and I really enjoy that problem solving how do you take something that's really complex and turn it into something that's simple and something that everybody can understand so yeah I, I i really love my work for for those reasons excellent that's a lovely answer. um may i ask how did you start out so um how did i start out so i started out as far as you like <laughs> yeah 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 sure sure um so going back um I did a uh, I did a politics degree at university. I went in with this idea of being very interested in international relations and international diplomacy. You know, really flashy element of of politics. And um, it was interesting actually. Once I got into it, I actually found myself getting really interested and grounded in issues that were were I, really about local issues, about communities, about um, places. And um, while I was at uni, I got a job as a, a student ambassador. So the university I, I went to, um, I, I, I joined on a, a sort of an access scholarship. I was you know, um, the first person from my family to go to university. And um, the university I went to had a real underrepresentation of students who had um, no one in their family who had a degree or had grown up in social housing. And so, um, I was fortunate enough to get a job whilst I was a student doing some of that outreach work in the local community. And so I was visiting secondary schools and organising school visits onto campus to raise the opportunity of university to um, to schools and to uh, to schools and to colleges where um, there was an underrepresentation of their students going on to, to higher education. and. That actually led to me getting my first full-time job after I graduated. I worked as a sort of a widening participation coordinator. So I, uh, full-time I was organizing activities to engage young people on going to university where they may have not thought university was suitable for them or they didn't quite belong. And that was a kind of job that really resonated with me because I felt the same and felt a bit iffy about whether I would or would not go to university. Um, I used all of the skills and experience from that that role to apply for a, a graduate scheme. I, I didn't go straight into graduate schemes after university. I, I built my skills in in this widening participation job. I joined the local government graduate scheme at a 
council in in london where i got to do a whole range of different placements so it was a two-year program lots of six months and sometimes three month placements um, all across the council so i got a really broad understanding and i got to try lots of different types of um careers in local government i did some of the sort of the human resources and the the central managing the council from intern uh, internally kind of work i i did some work in in social care in adult social care which was really rewarding but it was one of my final placements where i started working on apprenticeships and i started working on the whole skills agenda and how do we uh, make sure that more young people can access opportunities within the council how can we make sure that we are building a workforce that represents the local community so i got really into skills and i then decided a lot of my of my career i've actually tried to make a lot of sideways jumps so i haven't tended to go straight up a career path i then went to a a policy organization that was about lo about london and it was about local government where um i managed to get a lot of policy and strategy skills so in my grad scheme i'd done a lot of projects so i got my project management experience and a really good understanding of local government and so i then went and did a job that complemented that by being able to do policy and representing organizations doing lobbying to government and to um, the mayor of london on behalf of can councils um, and then i was kind of a bit lost of what to do at that point because i don't really have a set career path in mind i just when you know it's right to move on you've got the skills you want uh out of a job um you just kind of see what what's going on in in the job market and then i found my my current job which is a a strategy role working for three councils that have formed a partnership around employment and skills and for that role, it needed a knowledge of what's going on in a policy context in London and with government, but it also needed a really good understanding of how con councils operate and how they deliver services. So um, it was just by accident I fell into this job. And, you know, two years in, I still absolutely love it. And um, I'm still challenged by it every single day. It's, it's remarkable how often, you know, accident or good luck or fortune or whatever you want to call it, uh drives career paths for people it's uh it's pretty regular <laughs> you're absolutely Part right yeah. yeah yeah i was just going to i was just going to say quickly um sometimes in interviews people ask where you would want to be in five years time and i've always hated that question because i've honestly never known where i was going to be in five years time i just wanted to make sure so long as i was happy doing what i was doing i'm a much more kind of live in the moment kind of person but i bet when interviewers ask that question no one in five years ever ends up where they said they wanted to be five years previously it's just such a misnomer that you can make a clear concrete plan of where you're going to be in five years time sometimes not having that rigid plan allows you to be more open-minded to opportunities as they come along and i'm so glad i've been open-minded because if i had picked a very narrow restricted path of what I wanted to do in five years I wouldn't have I wouldn't have found myself in this opportunity and having one you know the best job I've ever had and having a job that I really enjoy so um, I'm really glad I would kept open-minded about where my career might take me well that's a quite nice third, third question then what, you know, what would you say to someone starting out today so I would say to someone starting out today who's interested in politics who's interested in commute how communities work and how places work and you know if you're interested in a local government career the first thing i would say is be curious you know don't stay in your lane um i have always taken the approach of reaching out to individuals outside of my immediate team people i work with to learn about what they do why they do what they do and and the history around that um i would always be asking questions not of how, what we do but why we do it how does it work sometimes that's met with a bit of resistance when people don't understand why you would be so curious because they expect you to stay in your lane but ultimately this is how you find out about new opportunities this is how you make yourself better at your job in local government there's 
so it's, it's so many it's really complex and a resident can interact with lots of different services and it really benefits to understand the wider system and not just immediately what you do so i'd say be curious i'd say to someone who's starting out today um that also create creativity can be found in all walks of life people don't often associate creative creativity people don't often associate creativity with local government and I was really, really passionate about performing arts as a teenager and as a young adult. And I've, I've found a role that actually allows me to be creative in a, in a thinking way, but I also get to interact with lots of people, uh, present lectures, uh, deliver presentations, create partnerships. I use all of those skills, those interpersonal skills I developed in performing arts and use them in a way that is just as satisfying as an adult. And finally, I would say, I think all experience is relevant. So, you know, start early and value it all. Every little work experience, every little volunteering opportunity is going to be valuable in one way or another, you just don't know how it will be useful yet. Um, my job calls on all of my work experience and all of the skills I've developed to the jobs I did when I was a student and even the small part-time jobs I did before I was a student. Every experience is valuable. So don't just, just be open-minded again, is what I would say to all of the opportunities that may come your way.